Today I'm going to show you how you can tag images on stock, various stock photography sites very, very quickly with the power of AI. So as promised yesterday in yesterday's video, I mentioned that I tag my photos without really having to spend any kind of energy doing it. I don't have to think about tags. I don't have to think about keywords. I use a tool that allows essentially all the work to be created for me without me having to sit there and spend hours and hours and hours tagging thousands of images. It literally takes me only seconds to do. So I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial here with various different images that were created so I can show you how to get these done. Now this is going to work for any stock photography site and any creator. So if you're a real photographer who's out there in the streets taking actual pictures, or if you're someone like me who likes to create images via stock photography, AI image generation tools like Midjourney and other tools, then this is going to be the video for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So all you have to do is normally prepare the photos the way you like to prepare them and upload them to the site. That's the first thing. Now, once again, you can do this for any site. So it's not like there's some sort of requirement. Once the images are uploaded to the site, all you have to do is take a screenshot of that image. You want the image to be relatively small, just kind of like the one that you see here. And then what you do is you're going to use the tool that I'll leave the link in the description and select the screenshot that you just took a picture of. So I just took a picture of this selfie of a girl sitting in front or standing in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and it's clearly a selfie photo. I'll go ahead and hit analyze, and in a matter of seconds, it will create for me my list of keywords. All I have to do is take the list of keywords copy them and paste them into the place where I can add those keywords. And the reason why I like adding this system or doing this system is because it adds many keywords that don't include the typical keyword suggestions. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different keywords that are being used that don't include the typical keyword suggestions here. And also it has more than enough keywords for me to just continue on without me copying or adding more keywords. So if I wanted to sit there and add keywords to this list, there's not much I could really think of. And we could actually go together and read these keywords together. Um, this is the image. So this is the actual image that I uploaded. It's literally the same thing. Obviously the image is upscaled. It goes through a whole process. And I teach that process very intricately in my super stock course. If you guys want to learn about how to basically automate the whole entire process and learn from beginner to advanced on how to make money with stock photography in my three-step system, then this is going to be the course for you. I'll leave a link in the description. And anybody who wants to learn about stock photography in general, if you've never got into it, I created a series of introduction videos to help you rewire your brain into success with stock photography and look at stock photography from a different angle and help you actually succeed. So whether you do stock photography or not and you're curious, I'll leave also a link in the description where you can access the introduction to this course completely for free. These videos, once again, are made to hypnotize you into success. So I'll leave those links in the description box down below. But this is essentially how it works. Now let's go ahead and read what keywords that the AI applied for this image. Okay, so I'll read them out to you. We have Eiffel Tower, we have comma girl, comma smile, comma winter, winter, excuse me, comma winter hat, <clears throat> comma selfie, comma Paris, comma France, tourist, comma travel, landmark, comma outdoors, comma vacation, comma holiday, comma sightseeing, comma winter, comma happy, comma young woman, comma cityscape, comma iconic, comma architecture, comma scenic, comma tourism, comma famous place, comma cheerful, comma casual, comma contemporary fashion, comma daytime, comma urban scene, comma travel photography, comma historical moment, comma European destination, comma festive season, comma cultural experience, comma street view, comma tourist attraction, comma lifestyle photography. So it's a quite large amount of keywords, and you can see here, it came out to a total of 36 keywords. 
Well, let's go ahead and try this for other keywords. And, and by the way, um, I know some of you might see this. Let me try to zoom in actually in my screen so you guys can get a, a, get a better point of view here of my keywords. You can see here in the keyword suggestions that the keyword Paris, which is one of the most important keywords, is not selected. Well, actually, Paris was already added, but it was added with a capital P. Okay, so by me just clicking on this, it won't really make a difference. It will just add it without the capital P. So you know, that's, you know, irrelevant. But anyways, let's go ahead and try this with a different image. And we're actually going to do this live. And I'm going to read out all the keywords for you live here uh, with these other images. So let's take a picture of this cake, this screenshot here. And once again, we're using the small uh, screenshots just so that the AI can analyze it faster. We don't have to waste time on spending different tokens. Um, but this is the best way that I seem to do it because if I'm going to upload an image that's 10,000 pixels or 5,000 pixels, I really don't want the AI to, number one, cost me for that. And I also don't want it to um, take that slow amount of time to really analyze the image, which is the most important thing. So this small image only takes 541 to 49 tokens. That was very quick. I'll go ahead and paste the keywords here, and I'll read them to you. But this time, I won't read it with the comma. I'll just read the keywords out, okay? Uh, cake, dessert, frosting, layers, plate, nuts, sweet, slice, pastry, homemade, icing, delicious, baked, creamy, treat, vanilla, food, background, tasty, crumbs, celebration, indulgence, food photography, close-up, gourmet, homemade cake, layered cake, bakery, presentation, cake slice, food styling, elegant dessert, plated dessert, dessert table, uh, or yeah, des dessert table, fresh dessert, and festive cake. So there we go. Another 36 keywords. Let's go ahead and try this cupcake image. We'll take a screenshot of that here. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same strategy. So we'll hit choose file and we'll drag and drop this just so that it's quick. We'll hit open and hit analyze. I like to do the drag and drop method, but you could use whatever kind of strategy you like. You just have to hit choose file and select the image. So we'll copy these keywords here. We'll paste them here. It says cupcake, frosting, dessert, sweet, pastry, baked, icing, caramel, sprinkles, food, bakery, vanilla, cake, creamy, delicious, treat, gourmet, homemade, baking, indulgence, close-up, decorative, um, where I sorry I, I lost my place swirl party celebration birthday confectionery moist cupcake cupcake with frosting caramel frosting uh, baked goods cupcake topping homemade dessert delicious treat cupcake display cupcake on stand there we go all right let's go ahead and try this picture of this dog here and we'll take a screenshot of it and do the exact same thing here we'll hit choose file select the file and hit analyze and give it just a second you know you only click once and then there we go okay let's paste the keywords here and i'll read them to you we have dog husky wolf canine animal pet cartoon illustration drawing art headshot portrait cute furry friendly happy smile blue eyes black and white fur black and white comma fur ears mouth open teeth mascot cheerful digital art vector stylized graphic design sticker decal playful dog face domestic animal image husky dog character detailed illustration of a husky okay there we go and then finally i'm gonna go ahead and do this shark image here so i'll take a screenshot just like that and finally Click choose, select the actual file, and then hit analyze. Okay. And, you know, you'll notice how I have more tokens spent. That's only because I zoomed in and the image is larger, but I didn't have to zoom in. But uh, let's go ahead and copy this, paste it here. And once again, I'll redo the keywords here. We have shark, great white, cartoon, illustration, fish, ocean, predator, marine, teeth, jaws, aquatic, sea life, art, animal, digital art, aggressive, fierce, water, blue, swimming, comic style, drawing, dangerous, attack, wild, nature, ocean creature, aquatic life, aggressive shark illustration, cartoon shark, open mouth shark, fierce sea predator, artistic shark, marine animal illustration, aggressive ocean predator, 
shark drawing. There we go. So there we go. It's, it's plenty of keywords, right? A lot of keywords there. Now, to put things into consideration, if I had to sit down here and write all these tags myself, number one, I wouldn't be able to think of all these tags. I'd probably maybe think of like five to 10, maybe even 12, but that's as far as it goes for me. Um, now, some of you might be really, really good at tagging and you might not, you know, have a problem, but me personally, it, it, number one, first of all, typing is, is tough for me. I am dyslexic. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that, but uh, reading is tough for me. Typing is tough for me. Writing is tough for me. Um, so for me, this makes life super easy. Uh, if English is not your first language, this makes life even easier. Um, because, you know, spelling can play a huge role in, in the success of your images. I'm not good at spelling in general, so this is, you know, a lifesaver. And more importantly, just the amount of time it takes, you know, to type. Even if I was a good uh, typer and writer and tagger, um, to be honest, the amount of time that would take would take plenty amount of time. You could see here, I tagged five images, one, two, three, four, five, five images. Imagine if I had, let's say, 10 variations of each image. So these cupcake images, these dog puppy face type images that are in the same style, these shark images, selfie images. I can always pull from different keywords and different lists. I don't have to necessarily click this button every time and make it work, uh, but it's very effective, very useful, very quick, and more importantly, it helps me save time, which is the most important thing. A lot of people asked me in my last uh, few videos of like, how, how do you, you know, create so many images? How do you upload them so quickly? How do you get this process done quickly? And my answer is to everybody, it's only time consuming if you're doing everything else yourself. You know, I used to say that print on demand used to be the easiest business out there, but this is now the easiest in my opinion, simply because of the tools that we can utilize to speed up the process. You know, back in the day, you'd have to go out, buy a camera, go take a flight somewhere and start shooting photos of something. Uh, and then you have to come back to your computer. You have to edit the images. You have to make sure they're the highest quality possible. You have to make sure your photography or your image, your, you know, your videography is not corrupt. You have to make sure that the, you know, the SD card or the micro, you know, SD card is not broken in any kind of way because that footage could get lost easily. You had to upload it to your computer, then you had to process it, then you had to edit it, then you had to upload it, then you had to manually title and tag and all these kind of things. But now everything, you know, done through AI, much, much simpler, much, much faster. And it leads, you know, people like us to beat the competition. If somebody's out there doing this all manually, they're going to fall behind. I can create five, six hundred images a day using this process with given time. But if somebody had the same amount of time that I did, Maybe they can only do 50 images a day or 30 images a day. So th this for me is is a, a life changer in terms of speed. And if you're curious about why this process is so effective, is there's two things that really, really matter when it comes down to stock photography, which is efficiency and quality. And with this tool, I'm mastering both. And I don't have to be a master is what I'm trying to say. And I said this in my last video, is that... One of the goals is that you want to decrease rejections, which is one of the things that our course kind of helps on is lowering your rejection rate. I just had a comment the other day from somebody who said to me, you know, 90% of their images get rejected. Um, and his process was to take the images from mid-journey, which are literally just images like this, and then upload them to Canva so that he can upscale them. And I couldn't tell him exactly, right, why he was getting rejections, but I said, I'll give you a hint don't use Canva. And the reason why I couldn't tell him exactly, because we have certain processes in the course that show you how to reduce those rejections. So for him, 90% of his, his images are rejected. You have a screenshot here of, this is just a simple demo account that I was kind of showing people here in the course. I added what, 258 images, right? For review. 245 were accepted, 13 were rejected. In that person's case, the person who commented, it would be the other way around. They would have only 13 accepted and the other 200 something plus rejected, which is one of the things that I say if you're constantly getting rejections, 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 you need to solve, you figure out how to solve that problem, you know, whether it's joining the course and learning how we do it or figuring it out yourself. Because if you keep getting these high rejections, Adobe doesn't promise you that you're going to keep your account. In fact, 
every platform doesn't promise you that. You can easily get your account rejected, uh, excuse me, get your account banned from the platform due to the high rejections. In fact, I told the person in the comments, I said, you're actually lucky that you haven't lost your account by now because I think he said he uploaded like 2,000 something images and 90% were rejections, which is a huge problem, you know, a huge problem. And f from a banning standpoint, but really from a work eff effort standpoint, I don't want to have to sit and work on something and 90% of my work be rejected. You know, that's not ideal. I want most of my work being accepted. And this is one of those businesses, like I said in yesterday's video, where it's not a matter of if you'll get downloads, it's a matter of when, especially if you're doing it the same way we're doing it. Very simple, you know, a process that's streamlined, a process that's easy. And more importantly, it doesn't break you down mentally, right? There are some businesses that are so complicated that you have a ton of energy. This is actually pretty fun. Just like literally creating images like you could see here. I have pictures of images of like different foods, right? We got some, you know, baklava here. Shout out to all the Greeks and Turkish and, you know, Arabic people who, who eat baklava. I'm pretty sure those are, you know, the majority of the people who eat baklava. But we got tons of pictures, right? Pictures of cupcakes, pictures of, of uh, baklava, pictures of cool things. You know, anything you want to create, you can create and you can make money off of with stock photography you can use mid journey you can use leonardo ai you know those are really the two softwares that i personally recommend but or you could be one of those people who want to go out there and shoot pictures you know either way um you know you could do what you want but automating is a process that helps simplify your life and speed things up so you get more results and remember, efficiency and quality are the two most important things in this business. So you got to be quick with it, but you also have to have that quality. It's not like you want bad quality work. All right, guys. So hopefully this video was effective. I'll leave links to the resources in the description, the free intros, videos, the, the, the course. I'll even leave a link in the description for the tool if you want to check it out. Um, you also need your uh, GPT uh, API key. Uh, so if you need, if you have questions on that or anything, um, you know, message me in the comments. Obviously, I didn't create a tutorial on that, but you need to have a a GPT AP, uh, not GPT, OpenAI API key, and that API key you're going to put it into the application. You could see I put mine here, and then once you put it into the application, you start to use it, and it works perfectly fine. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Once again, put your comments in the comments down below. If you have questions. Uh, I'll put all the resources in the description and in the pinned comment, and I will see you soon. All right, peace out, bye.